Hello, I'm Randy Brunette with Spatial Business Systems Incorporated, and today I'm presenting an introduction to the SDS PNC Toolkit. The SDS PNC Toolkit is an add-on to the very popular Autodesk AutoCAD electrical software, which itself is based on AutoCAD. Since AutoCAD is the underlying engine, all drawings are created in DWG format and are 100% compatible with any DWG-based software. The SDS Toolkit provides over 50 different tools that either enhance existing AutoCAD electrical functionality or provide new functions specifically for the requirements of the substation design industry. In this video, we'll demonstrate just a few of the tools available. I'm going to start with this simple three-line diagram. Well, maybe not so simple. And show some of the tools that we have that build on top of the AutoCAD electrical tools. I'll start with the Show Wires command. When I pick on this command in AutoCAD, you'll see that all of the wires in the drawing are highlighted. AutoCAD Electrical has a tool like this, but our enhancements come in that with the tool activated, I can zoom in and out in the program, I can pan around to different areas, and the highlighting remains visible at all times. Unlike AutoCAD Electrical, where as soon as I would do any panning, it would instantly disappear in the drawing. Next, I'd like to show you the Show Signals command. This one is also the same kind of enhancement over AutoCAD Electrical, in that when I pick the command, I can select all of the objects I wish to report on, and the chicken tracks, or the little track pieces, show up, showing you where all of the links are of the drawings. And again, just like before, it does automatically highlight so you can trace these and follow them around the drawing using any pan or zoom type commands. Finally, I'd like to show one more tool in this drawing, and that's the Show Phase tool. Now this is a special uh, tool that we built specifically for the substation industry. The Show Phase command allows you to select any single phase of a three-phase wiring diagram, and the tool will automatically highlight the path that the phase takes. Notice it's bypassing or passing through terminals, termination panels, even the test switch area here, and finally terminating at your protective relay. I can continue to select all of my phases to check the, the entire circuit, and even when I select the neutral wire, it displays all of the highlighting and displays the ground or highlights the ground with a green hexagon shape. Next I'm going to open drawing number five. I'd like to show you a couple of neat tools that take place in here. This is our job work order tool. So I'm going to move to my projects tab and you'll see the tool displayed here. The job work order display tool allows you to keep track of the work orders and their statuses within the project or within your drawings. So for example, I'm going to create a work order called 12345. Notice we have all of these statuses that are available and these are currently unlimited. I select the work order and now I can simply select what I want to do to mark that uh, component or components and highlight them in the drawing. The software will then automatically make the changes to those. You can set these colors to be the way you want, and you can work through this through your entire project, keeping track of the add remove status of the components without having to maintain multiple drawings, multiple files, and so on. With that tool as well, this creates a report of all of the changes, so you can of course print that out, send it off to your reporting people, Next, I'd like to show you the rollover tool. This is a special tool we've created so that if I roll over any entities, it highlights and gives you information about that entity. Think of this as a live listing tool. If I move over items that have been marked with the job work order status, you can see that status is showing up live as well. Next, I'm going to move to another drawing and go to wiring diagram information. Now, you may have seen the wiring diagram displays before, so I'm going to move to my panel tool here. 
select the wire anode tool and select the entities in my drawing that I want to be annotated. What is happening here is that our SDS Toolkit tools are extracting the wiring information from the schematic drawings and annotating, via all of those options in the dialog box you saw earlier, the wiring in our drawing. Another tool we have available for our wiring diagrams is jumpers. Notice how I can simply pick on my jumper designations and the annotation is removed and is replaced with this jumper symbol. And finally in this introduction I'd like to show one other feature that's very helpful. We've taken the AutoCAD electrical cable fan in tools and done a lot of automation of those for you. For example, we can see these three cable leads here and we'd like to turn those into one single cable marker that'll move to other drawings. So I can pick on our cable fan in. Again, we provide many choices for options for how you want to display this information. And in this case, I'm going to choose the cable device pin and I want to have this facing off to the left. Now I simply pick my three wires. You can see how the software is automatically re-annotating my symbol. And now it's just simply a matter of dragging my cable marker over to the new location where I want to see it. From here, this will show up in the surf dialogs. I'll do a quick surf here so you can see this. And you'll see here is the cable marker we have on this particular drawing and it's listing also the parent and the other two children that are back on the schematic drawings. This was just a brief introduction to the many tools and enhancements available in the Spatial Business Systems SDS PNC Toolkit.